All right, boys, here's how you do it. No intro, no BS, straight to the point. Here's my 2000 Insight. We're gonna pull the IMA codes with a paper clip. You'll see I'm between pin nine and four on ground. Simple, simple, simple. On the early cars, the OBD2 port's over on the right, and later cars is on the left. You're gonna turn the key to on, and then you're gonna look at the IMA light. There's your blink code. I'm gonna put up a list of what these blink codes are, and you can look at it from there. The code is stored as a sequence of long and short blinks that make up the two digit IMA blink code. Long blinks indicate the first digit, and short blinks indicate the second digit. If you had one code stored in memory, you would see the blink code, a one and a half second pause, then the same blink code repeated. If you had two or more codes stored in memory, you would see the first blink code, a one and a half second pause, then the second blink code, another one and a half second pause, and so on until the final one and a half second pause, and then the cycle repeats itself. Here are the blink codes for the 2000 to 2004. And here are the blink codes for 2005 and 2006. Once you're all done, you can turn the key to off and remove the paperclip. The code will still be stored in memory. If you want to clear the IMA code, disconnect the battery negative terminal underneath the hood on the 12 volt battery. Leave it for about 15 seconds to 30 seconds to be safe. Plug everything back in and your code should be gone. See you guys.